Welcome to how I built my own network storage server with what I had on hand. Let's get started. First is a computer case. It has to be spacious enough to install multiple hard drives. This computer case can fit 5 hard drives. That's enough for my personal needs. In this case I have 4 traditional hard drives. The bigger the better. Power supply unit. 500 watts. 1, 2, 3. It only has 3 SATA power outputs. That's not enough because I have 4 traditional hard drives. So I need an additional converter cable. Add it to SATA. There are 2 more SATA power outputs. Motherboard. I chose an ASUS motherboard. The motherboard has as many SATA ports as possible. 1, 2, 3, 4. This motherboard has 4 SATA ports. Connect them to traditional hard drives. CPU. i3-9100. Intel Core i3-9100. This is a low power processor. I don't need to create virtual machines so I prefer a low power processor. 65 watts. RAM. 8 gigabytes. Minimum capacity. More is better because it buffers when reading and writing data. A solid state drive to run the operating system. It doesn't use SATA ports, it uses M2 ports. Main board, solid state drive and RAM. Components after connection. Next I install the operating system. True NAS, a free solution. Great for building a personal storage server. A USB drive to create a bootable installer. Rufus, a bootable installer tool. Download the installer and use Rufus to write the installer to the USB drive. Connect the USB drive to the server. Start the installation. In the UEFI BIOS, set the server to boot from the USB drive. Start true NAS scale installation. Install. Four traditional hard drives and one solid state hard drive. Install the operating system on the solid state hard drive. Complete the installation. Remove the operating system installer from the server. Server IP address. The web user interface. From a computer on the local network access the server using the IP address. Login using the password set during installation. Disks. These are the hard drives on the server. The server has detected the hard drives. I create storage pools from these traditional hard drives. Recommended to create redundant hard drives to avoid data loss. With two identical hard drives I choose two-way mirror storage. In idle state it uses 36 watts. Maximum read and write speed is 1 Gbps. It uses about 40 watts when reading and writing data. For personal needs, most of the server is idle. So I optimize the power consumption during idle time. I set the spin mode slow on traditional hard drives. In UEFI BIOS set power saving mode. Check power consumption. From 36 watts to 26 watts. Significant reduction. Worth the effort. At night I don't use the network storage server so I schedule a power off. I power off the server at 10 p.m. The server powers off automatically. I don't have to do it manually. No need to go to the management page or use the button on the server.
Test run. Works well. So how to make it power on automatically every morning. That can be solved with settings in UEFI BIOS. The server powers on automatically at 9 a.m. The server is running 13 hours a day and powered off for 11 hours a day. I want faster read and write speed so I use a 2.5 Gbps network card. Significantly higher than the motherboard's built-in network interface. Need an additional router with a 2.5 Gbps interface. It has an interface 2.5 and I connect the server to it. Here is how I built my own network storage server. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a desired network storage server.